hello welcome back to my channel my name is lucy today i'm shooting so many videos because i have some time i just started my clinicals for my third semester i'm about to finish it in the next two three weeks i'll be done with third semester and i'm going to fourth quarter for it's called quarter semesters here is like four months quarters is about like 12 like 10 to 12 weeks that's like almost two months so I'm your girl, Lucy Aisha. First of all, please subscribe. Please subscribe. Subscribe or like this video. So, in today's video, I want to talk about the school that people are going to Oregon. It's called Samna College. This is for the people in Washington. I'm a, even if you're watching me from India, Nigeria. Oh my gosh, I have so many India, Nigeria, Kenya, US, whatever you're watching me from. We know LPN is an the Samna College in oregon portland oregon it's a private college where the lpns can do a crushed course no prerequisite needed but the prerequisites that are needed are within the program so the program is like a cycle my friend is doing it my friend has done it so i know this i mean i would say i know it just on the surface and i've gone through it anyways uh i mean the subjects that they're, they're doing so the oregon program is like a i think it's a 13 13 13 weeks no 13 month program it's very like faster like very it's a, like a crash program like the way you see here people want to people saying accelerated bsn oh and by the way i did a video talking in swahili and all that my language some somebody commented and said lucy we're watching you from different countries so please speak english so i'm sorry about that so back to the oregon story the lpn program it's combined so you just it's about 35 you know including books and everything thirty five thousand dollars that you pay i think some upfront and the way i know people are doing it if you work like two three years as a cna you save up some money and you don't have family or friends uh family or any commitments that's gonna uh, break that cycle of like going to school um without school without working so what they're doing is that you you enroll i think there's a morning program and there's an evening program my friend i should bring you my child so that to explain to people huh? my girl so they're doing that in the morning maybe up to 12 and then you can work if like evening shift or do your assignments or whatever then the weekends i believe you can also work so it's I think it's a doable program especially the content is not as much like as a, the rn but it's just that lpn can do also so many things at the bedside i mean in the in their profession just like a, rn but the only a few things you know i mean there could be more but once you join the program there's a morning shift and there's an afternoon class morning class and afternoon class whichever feature schedule you can join whichever because I know my friend is doing it and she's trying to work also at the same time. Of course, you need some money. You know, homelessness in this country is very, like, like you're, you're just this, this on the edge. If you don't pay your, your rent, my friend, my friend, if you don't pay your rent, if you don't pay your bills, something is going to come up behind you and smack you. Um, so I know when you join, they don't, they don't ask for any paperwork, like, like papers or anything, residency, of course it's a private university, so everybody's paying the same. I'm not sure if they have scholarships, uh, some private schools don't have scholarship. And I also know that LPN program has an accelerator, like RNBSN, LPN BSN program or something at that school. So the prerequisites are pretty much the same, English, math, statistics um anatomy one and two chemistry psychology and pharmacology and you know some nursing the core nursing um subjects so why are they going there because it's fast if you were supposed to do at the lpm program here in washington state you can go to a different school like green river college it's a lpn full-time three three times three quarters only they start in fall they finish in spring that means this if they start in september the previous year they finish by april the next year you see this is a crash like combined full time but this one requires you should have done your almost seven prerequisites before you join this program so when you're doing your prerequisite you're even doing with your rn prerequisites that's the tip i want to share if you want to do 
the Oregon one. Go there. If you don't have time, commitment, money, what you do for the LPN is you just do all prerequisites at the same time for, uh, for the RN. Then join the full-time LPN program at Green River College because I know that's the school that offers full-time. You do for three semesters and then you can be the LPN. You can do your exam NCLEX and then be uh, an LPN. Then if you want to do BSN, you can do LPN to BSN at Green River College. It's about, I think, two years. If you finish your prerequisite, if you haven't, then it's going to take longer. Now, the tip I want to share with you also, as much as you want to go to the LPN program in Oregon, it's okay. But if you can't, do your prerequisites, everything for RN or even for BSN too. So that if you get into an RN program, registered nursing program, after the fourth quarter, you can sit for your LPN exam while you're in the RN program. And that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm going to do. After the fourth quarter, which is OB, which is OBGYN, uh, mothers, babies, and some, um, I think, surgery or something, med surge, medical surgery. I mean, not talk into, into complicated terms. <laughs> so I am going to be studying for my LPN exam in my fourth quarter of nursing school, of RN school. You get it? That's the what I'll tell you to do. Instead of doing that three, because instead of doing that three quarter LPN program, which is full time, and I know it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Another friend of mine is doing, I have friends doing the same, almost all these things I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm not faking, okay? It's pretty intense. But once you finish that, it's fine. You can do, you can join the LPN BSN. But while you're in the RN program, you can be LPN after fourth quarter, which um, in essence, by the time you graduate as an RN, you've already worked almost one year as LPN. Did you get that? You've already worked one year as LPN. You know why? Because after fourth quarter, you remaining two quarters of RN to finish. And these two quarters are mostly clinical based. It's not theory work. That's why if you it's clinically based, there's less papers, there's less time sitting, more time on the ground, and it's not like it's every day. And these other extra days, you can work as an LPN. Did you get that? You for fifth quarter and sixth quarter is less paperwork, more clinical, which means clinical you're not going for every single day. No, it's usually about three, two to three days in a week, and that's like 12 hours or eight hours, depending on your school. Okay, so this extra time you have, you can do your per diem shift as LPN or whatever, whichever, or uh, even full time LPN. I'm going to do that and I will take you through that and I will tell you it's doable because I'm your girl because I want you to succeed okay and once you do all this when you graduate as an RN remember you, you did your training as LPN the immediate and if and even if you went to the hospital you got some skills so that's my tip okay tip of the day RN school fourth after fourth semester you become LPN you can do it so I'll see you in the next video to explain the breakdown of school fees that you need to know so that you don't get into debt. Call, send me an email, consultlucyaisha at gmail.com and remember to subscribe and like this video. I want to empower everybody. I want us to grow. Thank you.